please welcome this week's special guest, Amy. <laughs> Joe, what is Amy to you? This is my friend Amy, and I grossly offended her when I made a less than perfect sculpture of her head. <laughs> Nish, how do you know Amy? Uh, this is my friend Amy. We became friends after I found her asleep in a box of volleyballs. <laughs> Finally, David, what is your relationship with Amy? This is Amy. She is the charity shop worker who sold my shoes whilst I was otherwise engaged trying on a pair of cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, where do you want to start? Nish, what, remind us again, Nish. Uh, she, I found her in a box oh, of yes. volleyballs. First of all, where were you where there was a box of volleyballs? <laughs> I was working at a leisure centre uh, just after I left school. Um, right. And Amy was also working there over the summer between school and uni. Right. And um, they sent me to check on the volleyballs. Well, and... well just, just check on the volleyballs. <laughs> That's a good job from you, bro. <laughs> Make sure the volleyballs aren't messing around. <laughs> <laughs> Has your manager recently been watching Toy Story? <laughs> I believe the technical term was conduct inventory. So I was right. just you're trying to, make to count sure. them. Yeah, you're supposed to count them. Uh, and it turned out that what she was doing was because no one really wanted to play volleyball. She had found the perfect spot to have a mid work how, how sleep. How big in. was this box? It was like woman could she, size. Could she stretch? Woman, oh, woman size. size. Yeah, yeah. You've heard of a you've heard of a volleyball coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Volleyball. <laughs> yeah. So you opened it up and you saw a sleeping woman amongst all these volleyballs. How many were there? Like, I think probably like thirty-five. You see, you've just said to me that this box was woman-sized. <laughs> now, the largest woman I've ever seen is still smaller than thirty-five volleyballs. <laughs> <laughs> They've used this as a chat-up line. <laughs> Says, oh, I feel a bit fat in this. I'll always go, don't be silly, you're no. less than 35 <laughs> volleyballs for me. <laughs> so she, she, did you wake her up? Yes. And so we became friends because then I would also often have a nap. In, in the volleyballs? In the volleyballs. What was her job supposed... What was she supposed to be doing at the time? We, we, Perhaps we would... she was sent to count the volleyballs <laughs> earlier. <laughs> been become bored by the monotony <laughs> of the process. The boss kept... I keep sending people to count the volleyballs and they never come back. <laughs> Working at the leisure centre, Nish, what else did your job demand of you? Basically, all-round dog's body, so I would work on the front desk I, sometimes. I thought you said all-round ball games. <laughs> <laughs> so everything except rugby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bowls, David. What? They're not totally spherical in bowls, that's Are why they... Are they not? That's why they, <laughs> that's why they, yeah. that's why they care. I would yeah. say, colloquially, Otherwise. they're still round, though. Oh, well, hello. It's all kicking off at Bridge Club. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Who else would you like to quiz? OK, Joe. what situation were you in where you were sculpting her head? Uh, we... I, I have an office in uh, Birmingham, where I live. That'll do. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I totally believe it. I mean, that, that makes it... You can answer any question you like, I don't mind. You have an office in Birmingham? Yeah. But right. why? Um, why? Just to, to write jokes and be creative in. So, you went to this office to write jokes... Yeah. ..and said to your friend, ..would you like to come along, sit in the corner and I'll sculpt your head? I've been looking for a use for all that clay I keep in my office. <laughs> Had you just been watching a Lionel Richie video? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh. So, did you know how to do this? No. But, yeah, I, I thought practice makes perfect, so I called Amy and... Um, How long did you spend doing it? Maybe an hour or so. Weren't you tempted to just make it really soft, get her face, <laughs> push it into it... <laughs> ..then do the back of her head? <laughs> and then go, well, at least I've got a mould. <laughs> you said she was offended by this sculpture. Yes, yeah, she so was offended. What, what did you end up with? Um, <laughs> uh, it didn't look like her. What did it look like? Um, you look more like Ainsley Harriet. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Now, what about David? I'm looking forward to this. What was it you claimed, David? That, that, that Amy is the charity shop worker... That's right. Oh, yes. ..who sold my shoes yes. whilst I was otherwise engaged trying on a pair of cowboy boots. Can you talk us through the incident, please? Um, well, I was in the charity Which shop. Which charity shop? It was uh, a Marie Curie charity shop. 
near I'm where I live. OK. So I'm setting the scene before this. You're, you're at home, you're thinking, it's about time I got myself some cowboy boots. <laughs> I'm willing to commit to a new pair in case I go off the idea. <laughs> Just on the very slightest off chance yeah. that they don't turn out to suit me yeah. and my personality. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboy boots, I'll be honest with you, don't particularly appeal to me aesthetically. Wow. That I don't think me. they go with what I like to call my style. Oh. <laughs> well, how would you describe that style, David? I, I don't... I think my style is indescribable. Oh, no, I could describe it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's best left undescribed. OK. Uh, I wasn't sitting at home plotting the purchase of some cowboy boots. No. I was pottering around near my house and I saw the Marie Curie shop and I saw in the window what looked like a, a nice selection of second-hand novels. Right. And I, I went in and it wasn't a nice selection of second-hand novels. It was all Ken Follett crap. <laughs> But I did notice the, the, the array of shoes, and I tend to take my shoes off at home and maybe wear slippers or socks. I don't want this to get too sexy. <laughs> and, and so I... And I need my inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> so what I vaguely was on the lookout for was a pair of everyday, easy-to-put-on, non-lacing shoes that I could keep by the back door in case I needed to pop into the garden for some garden. <laughs> but you said you'd taken some of your shoes to the charity shop. I was... W I was wearing shoes. <laughs> so what, you decided to take them off in the shop and hand Sorry, them to her? When, when, you, when you go shoe shopping, do you go barefoot? <laughs> You no, seriously? No, no. When I take Don't shoes, keep me waiting. When <laughs> I, <laughs> I <laughs> when I take shoes to the Sue Rider shop, yeah. I choose shoes that I no longer want. I don't wander around and then go, well, do you know what? You can have these if you want. <laughs> Why would you do that? You take them ready to give. I wasn't. It was not my plan. Rob, can I just say, Rob? Rob, you're the only person in the whole of the United Kingdom watching this that isn't following this story. <laughs> Said he took off his shoes. Why do you think he took the shoes off? <laughs> to try the other one. To try the cowboy shoes on. Oh. oh. <laughs> right. Sorry. Sorry. Well, David. <laughs> David, I, I owe you an apology. <laughs> there you are in the shop. Yeah. Uh, I'm in the shop and I spot these cowboy boots and to me they look sort of quite loose and easy to slip on. What length? <laughs> Um, Not width, well, I, length. I'd say <laughs> that long. About that, so they're coming yeah. up to just below the knee. They're not, they're not, you know... They're, they're <laughs> How tall aren't... are you, Rob? They're not below... <laughs> <laughs> For me, they'd be thigh length. Can't see over these. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to show you. I would say they're for a cowboy. They're sh shortish, but leather not, or suede. But they're not ankle boots. Leather so or suede. Leather, and with a sort of bit of. Um, I, guess I don't know the technical shoe terms, but sort of a, like a bit of uh, crenellation, sort of flapping on them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to have to use the terminology of the medieval castle. It's the only way I'm, <laughs> I'm describing it. Anyway, they look. So like... you saw them. You saw yeah, them. I saw them. Okay. So I thought, uh, you know, I'll try them on. Yeah. But they were slightly harder to get on than wow. I imagined. People in the shop, I imagine, were going, why is David Mitchell trying yeah. on cowboy boots? <laughs> the shop wasn't as packed as you're imagining. <laughs> <laughs> I thought myself to be the only customer there. Right. I was soon disabused of that notion. <laughs> <laughs> when did you notice that your own shoes had been sold? I think, well, I, I remember I walked to the back of the shop mm. in the cowboy boots, restraining an urge to walk like John Wayne. <laughs> and when I came back towards the shoe area, I noticed that my shoes weren't there. And did you see who'd bought them? I didn't, no. I'm picturing a scene where you walk out the shop and you walk home, and then a few minutes later, a cowboy goes up to the counter and says, Excuse me, um, I... <laughs> I was just trying on a pair, and then behind him a clown and then a sailor. <laughs> and this just goes on all day, yeah. round and round. Yeah. David, David, yeah. I, I don't know you. I've just got to know you today, and I admire you very much. But what I know of you from watching you on TV, the cowboy boots, it's just... I, I can't buy it. I can't imagine you'd even try them on. Well, in which case, th then you should say that I'm lying. <laughs> So, 
we need an answer. Uh, Lee's team. Is Amy Joe's miffed model, <laughs> Nish's sleepy sidekick, <laughs> or David's sneaky shoe seller? I'm more inclined to believe Nish myself. You believe Nish? Yeah. Because? Because, I don't know, I just think Amy and Nish, they could be really good mates. Miles, you think? Well, I was looking at her very closely while Joe was talking about Scott because she looked quite icy about the whole thing. Wow. <laughs> and, of course, she was very offended in the store. But... Just, but during I mean, David's it... story, she looked, I mean, understandably baffled. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it might be Joe, actually. What do you uh, think? Well, I'm, I'm not... I'm beginning to think. I mean, it doesn't even matter what I think. I mean, your own... <laughs> your... I mean, my job really is to agree with you, Lee. I mean, you are a man... Are we trying to reenact Dad's army? Here? <laughs> 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 do you think that's why, sir? Um, I think... Uh... <laughs> I think Nish is telling the truth. You think Nish is telling the yeah. truth? You think Nish is telling the yeah. truth? Right, in that case, I'll go with what my team say. <laughs> You're saying it's Nish? No, oh, I'm overruling! <laughs> I'm going with Joe! <laughs> Are you seriously? I feel it's Joe. All right. Amy, <laughs> would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Amy and I'm Joe's friend. Oh! <laughs> This is the sculpture that Joe Lyle... <laughs> oh, good luck. <laughs> this is the sculpture... Get ready for this. <laughs> you will never <laughs> in your lifetime witness a worse sculpture than this. Joe's <laughs> miffed model. Thank you very much, Amy. Thank you.